Hey guys, so um, just a quick review of the uh, landing page. Uh, obviously, I'm reviewing this on desktop, not on mobile. Uh, I think it's very important to um, see how it will look on mobile. Um, right now, I'm not going to focus on that. So um, the color scheme is kind of, you know, something uh, that probably we'll need to experiment with. Like it's kind of white and gray, a little bit bland. Uh, I know usually they have like, you know, some touches of color, like yellow and blue, whatever. But um, that's more of a design thing. So um just the headline to me is contradictory like near instant relief and then as early as a few days so which one is it <laughs> as early as a few days or near instant and again very important as like i'm super paranoid about uh, facebook um especially uh, how they treat anything that claims to you know help with pain reduce pain pain free like you know very um like i don't have the exact guidelines but it seems like they're very um adamant about uh, those things anyways um that's that's like kind of like the first uh, thing we probably will, will need to test several headlines so we could do a split test um you know help fix damage joint issue again like there i see there's like a number five uh, annotation there but uh, you know those are pretty bold claims to make um maybe this image need, needs to actually emit light like actually show what it does because right now like i don't know does it look like a flask it looks like a microphone like i have no idea what that is so maybe like more of a descriptive um you know device emitting light on on like a knee or something or an elbow um these badges again i would be careful uh with them like obviously we don't have the rights to use them um so um i don't know i just don't feel super comfortable about it uh, now most of the page i also notice is uh, written in a male voice so it says like my wife then it's like later down it's like a young man knees uh, so we either need to make it gender neutral or we'll have to have two different versions i think one for females one for men and obviously they will have their own problems so like men opening jars and like you know kicking football with their grandkids women i don't know like dancing or something whatever problems they're having um knitting sewing um okay um then you know it's obviously a lot of uh, copy uh, seems like pretty coherent Again, uh, I'll be careful with claims. Um, this is a bit of a pet peeve of mine. This is like a World War II soldier. So, uh, you know, if we say and this was discovered in the 90s, maybe just have like, you know, somebody uh, in a more modern uh, uh, gear um, and helmet. Just kind of like my own little uh, thing. Um, what else? Uh, again, these testimonials, like obviously, you know, um, better be not be you know real people if these are not real testimonials or it's best to use real testimonials also like the device is called red beam i don't know if that's like a, a competitor product that like if if i google red beam what happens like we basically don't want them to, to do this and um you know if we're gonna call it healer healer whatever then we should call it that uh, otherwise well they're gonna Google it and see some sort of an asset tracking thing. So I don't know. Uh, Red Beam Joint, maybe. Yeah, so we don't want like make sure that there's no um, trademark or anything on that. Uh, so whatever they, whatever they do, uh, we don't want to get sued or see indeed. Uh, okay, so it's like a full, full, big ass machine. Um, and it's probably can learn a thing or two. So anyways, yeah, that's just the naming convention. Um, um we need to make a decision on that uh you know the rest of the copy kind of like you know i skimmed through it once uh, i don't know how many people will read it i think like the readability is okay i've like highlighted parts uh here and there again like some of these claims man like <laughs> i'm super paranoid um again i'm not sure like from the perspective of like call to action like should we have more uh, often um, call to action throughout the page because right now like you have to pretty much scroll to the end before you encounter the first buy box i don't know if that's by design or not like, i don't have experience with uh, really super long um, sales pages to be honest mines are shorter uh, again maybe have um, images of the bonuses it helps um right and then like uh maybe like a value stack Rus russell brunson style like total value you're gonna get is blah 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 blah, right um so um those are my kind of uh 
Uh, yeah, and pain-free also, like that's another thing. 